Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup haul. I almost said tutorial. A makeup haul. And it's mostly Sephora. Yeah, it's mostly Sephora. So if you want to see what I got, then please keep watching. Alright, so I don't know what order to do this in. So I'm just going to start picking from things and show you. So the first thing I have here is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray 02 Skin Complex. I've been using this for a while because, I don't know, if you've been watching a few of my hauls, you know that I have I find it very hard to wait to use them. But then also that way when I'm get, showing you guys, I can give you some sort of um, first impressions. I don't know what exactly this is supposed to do. Like someone on the Sephora, whatchamacallit? on the Sephora review section said that it's supposed to like not prevent transfer and this and that. My, fit, my, my foundation transfers though and I still get oily. I don't know if it's at the same rate though so I'm still testing this out. I'll get back to you let me know if you want a review. I don't know if you want to hear about that some more. The next two things are the Smashbox Be Legendary lipstick and I have Unzipped Matte and Stylus Matte. So I'm wearing Unzip Matte now and I just put it back in the packaging just now for you guys. It is this dark red color. That was a horrible swatch, but yeah. Um, it's not as matte as you would like, you know, if you're used to liquid lipsticks. I was like, this is not matte, like satin, but it's comfortable. And I did put their Insta Matte on top of it, but when you have to reapply the lipstick, it doesn't, like, you would have to walk around with it to reapply that as well. That's what those two look like. I wish I don't know. I didn't want to get their satin because those were just glossy. They had like like satiny lipsticks. They were just too glossy for me. So I was like, mm mm. And especially not while I'm working. Lipsticks stay on my teeth. I have to constantly be paranoid about that. So the next thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. Now after watching video upon video upon video about this. I decided I should finally just, you know, pick it up. And because when I went into Sephora, I was looking around. I was in there for a long time. The sales associates were probably concerned. Um, and I saw it was in the stuff, so I was like, whatever. So I left. But then I came back. Something made me come back. So I came back because I saw they were restocking certain items. And I saw there was, like, only one there. I, like, oh my God. I even checked to make sure that it wasn't, like, used or anything, though. But, yeah. I'm wearing this in the, bra in the brown. I'm wearing this on my brows. I got it in the shade dark brown which is what I use in the brow is uh I don't really know what's like besides the fact that it's wider you know it's fatter I don't really know what the difference is I mean and the spoolie is thicker so it makes like because my eyebrows are kind of full naturally so it makes you know getting through them a lot quicker and this makes doing my eyebrows a lot quicker but besides that I don't really see the difference because my brow was when I use it it slants. It becomes this slanted shape anyway. This is just a bigger slanted shape. So there's that. And next, I got the Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer. I've been wanting to try a lot of Smashbox, pro Smashbox products lately because it's kind of a brand that I kind of just overlook when I'm in Sephora and I kind of feel bad about that. Like I feel like I need to explore and not just stick with my favorites. This eyeshadow primer, I'm wearing this today, not that you would be able to tell, but the fact that my eyeshadow is still there might be a good indicator that it's a good eyeshadow primer. Um, this reminds me of some like the Bite Agave lip mask, but it's not as hard to come out, but it is thick to come out. Like When I show you guys, like I'm going to put a clip of me, because like, I don't want to waste any more product, of me, um, dispensing it on my hand a lot came out and it was just like too much to blend out so a little goes a long way with this and okay this next one is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultras Ultra Wear Makeup Stick that's what it looks like I got in the shade 460 the same shade I got in the foundation the liquid foundation and this and the powder so this is how much it's in here, but well, I have been using it. So 
this blends out really nicely but I don't think it's as full like it has as much coverage as the liquid does but I am working on doing a review for you guys for the, on this so that's coming up next couple of things this is not from Sephora Ooh. these are the Colourpop Ultra Satin I'm just dropping everything the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip liquid lipsticks whatever and I got five of them because I was very wary after the Ultra Matte Lips which I can barely wear I can barely wear a majority of them so I got five I got you know a nude this can tansy can, can be considered a nude on me because it kind of just blends it it's not like that deep chocolatey color that i thought it was going to be i got lion king panda freaking frack which is the nude and the rabbit which reminds me of sunday and we're and i'm thinking of doing a review on this but since i had a, such a very strong opinions about the um the ultimate lipstick I kind of feel like I need to show my, show my thoughts I need to tell you guys my thoughts on these you know like I can't talk bad about those and then not say anything about these but so for the most part I like them for the most part but I'll give my thoughts in that video just let me know which videos you guys want to see first because I'm working on a schedule for those like what to record and upload first so this is from a support order i was looking for a new facial cleanser and i used this brand's um mask the two-step mask that was recommended by michelle fawn and alexis morales i do believe here on youtube so i got the freshly chitosan foam cleanser by cow lion I think that's the yeah that's the brand but I don't know how to say the name and I excuse me and I like this cleanser at first I thought it was going it, it was drying me out too fast but I think because it was like it, it, it says anti dry deep cleaning sebum control it think I do think it helps with the oil which is why I felt like oh my god it might be drying me out but it wasn't it was just probably just on the borderline of drying me out maybe and when I was wearing my music my music. I'm talking too fast when I was wearing my makeup. I realized that I wasn't getting as oily. So I like that. I used that twice a day. So I showed you guys this in my Sephora VIP haul, I do believe. I got the L'Occitane shower oil. So I love this shower oil in the winter. It kept me moisturized, I guess, from drying out because I like to take really hot showers, which are, which dries out your skin. So this was good for that. Also got the supreme cleansing oil which is also repurchased from the vib sale haul this makes taking off my makeup way much e more easy what can i english today it makes taking off my makeup much more easier <coughs> it makes taking off my makeup much more easier i use this first and then i use the other cleanser afterwards and i'm all set josie moran pure argan oil light I keep buying these small bottles because I know I like it. I just don't know why I don't just commit to the big bottle, but I keep buying the small ones. Yeah. So, eventually, I only use this at night. So, yeah. So, that's all the stuff I've bought recently, though I do have some things on their way, but they're not from Sephora. So, maybe I'll do a drugstore haul. I haven't done one of those in a while. Have I ever done a drugstore haul? I think I've done drugstore makeup tutorials like twice. But I don't think I've done a drugstore haul. We'll see. And IMAX is coming up next month, so maybe I should stop spending. Maybe. So that's it for this haul. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any requests for videos, any of the products you want me to use, or any which ones you want to see first. Let me know. I'm being to please. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.